Hi everyone and welcome another Friday to the Writer's Secret book. I'm Nadia Marsoli, the author of Simwell, the book one of the Sasta Legacy series. Right now I'm finishing Stella, which is book two, and I'm here to share with you all the preparations for NaNoWriMo because we are in prep October and this week we have to cover one of the most important topics of writing a book okay because other themes they will just come along as you prepare it yourself but right now we have to focus on this one we already spoke a little bit about what is prep october and last week i share with you what type of writer you are okay you can either be a plotter which i'm kind of i am you can be a Answer, which means you just sit down and then you just write your book and then get on with it I write a book that way that's really dangerous especially if you are doing a series and you're not organized because we're gonna talk about that now you will see how important it is that you prepare it yourself a lot especially as I say if you're writing a series or a saga and then number three our uh, writer that you can be is a planter which is in between panzer and plotter which is you prepare it yourself enough to go and write, but not in a stressful way of feeling you're writing a book while you're outlining, but you haven't wrote anything yet, okay? I have so many things that I share on previous videos. You can go and watch my video on Monday where I show you a lot of the things that I have done for book two, which again, that's part of outlining. And I mentioned a lot what we're doing on book three. On Wednesday um, blog as well, I share a lot on how do I organize myself to have everything together. I do not use a Scrivener. I know a lot of people use a Scrivener. I use Google Docs, so I have everything in there. But the way how I structure my Google Docs files is the same way you will structure Scrivener. The reason why I don't use a Scrivener is because the laptop that I have, which is a Samsung um, Google Chrome, uh, doesn't uh, let Scrivener work in there. So there will be no point on me purchasing something that I know I won't be able to use. So that's the only reason why, but I learned a lot about Scrivener and I was able to move all of that to Google Docs. And it's look the same, just separate, uh, rather than on a summary on the side, you will have separate files. But today, which is the most important thing, we are gonna talk about characters. Characters are the most important part of your novel. It's not about the plot, it's not about the story, it's about the characters, because the characters are who's the one create the story, and the plot is what happened to those characters that makes this story matter. So, you need to create a good, strong character so you will be able to develop your story using the theme that you have choose for your book and then the plot will come along together. Let's say the story is the character's personality in and out. Plot is all what happens around them. So that means secondary characters, the where they live, what happened around them and what matters in their life that build this world around them. I am an author that I write romance, so that's where I focus the most. But you can use all what I'm sharing with you right now and transform it into fantasy, horror, or science fiction, whatever it is that you're writing, you can use it as well. So let's go to the love page. Okay, so over here we are on the character profile template that I have created. This one is Scott. He is kind of one of the main characters on my Sustain Legacy series that I'm creating. Uh, what it says in here is character name. His name is Scott Smith. Role in the story. He's the grandfather and father. Physical description. The reason why I didn't fill up the physical description is because you can see it on the pictures. Like I have him when he's really young at the beginning of the story, middle of the story when he's a little bit older, and then when he dies. I put 66, that's the age roughly when he passed away. So I could just, yes, I should have three different ages, but does not really matter. Like I'm sure of his age on the other ones, and it's kind of understanding that he's getting older. I did his personality type and then I put it in there and then distinctive skills and uh, abilities, I'll do it in another moment. Internal conflict, we have desire, fear, misbelief. So his desire is live a life 
where he gets to control his present and future. In his fear is disappoint his father and find unhappiness because of that choice. Misbelief is that he needs to please others to follow what is told to him in order to find happiness, okay? We have advanced character development where we have what is their greatest fear, what is their misbelief about the world, what happened in this character past to make them believe this lie, what do they most often criticize about others, what is their love language, how do they respond to emotional pain, top three things he value most in life, is there an object that they can bear to part without and why? Um, the method of manipulation. And then we have the character goals. So it's how is your character dissatisfied with their life? What do your character believe will bring them true happiness and contempt? Uh, what um, definitive step could they take to turn their dream into a reality? How has their fear keep them from taking their action already? How do your protagonists feel that uh, can accomplish their goal while still steering clear of things they are afraid of. Okay, so this is basically all what you will need. And then I have the secondary character, which is quite similar on the top on what it is the profile, but then it has the advanced character development, which is what does this character want? Why do they want it? What's at stake if they fall uh, with what they want? What stands in the way ex externally and internally? And then we have the hook to help them stand out. So it's the accent or a specific way of talking, identifiable physical features, own body language or mannerism, human or animal counterparts, unique personality, strength and weaknesses, a specific role in the story, a group of family or connection, dominant emotional state and part of play in concealing a mystery. Okay, so this will be more than enough to, for your secondary characters. And here I have everything from the Saster Legacy series. There's a lot more people, but I'm not really think I'm going to make character profiles for all of them. We have the main ones, which is Stella, Sebastian, Scott, and Samuel. Then we have secondary characters will be Samantha, Ruby, Rosita, Logan. Then we have Catherine as well is really important. We have Matteo and Donnie as third characters. We have Colton as the villain. I'm working on him right now. But... Could I put more characters? Yes, but I have a list with everybody and I don't think I need any more information to know what part do they play. But anyway, I really hope you like this video and I see you next week. Bye now.